Good morning, everyone. It's been a while. How are you? I hope all of you are fine. As we continue our lesson in science, did you know that all materials in our environment change through physical and chemical means? We may not see it, but it does occur. Some changes are useful and some are harmful to our environment. Today, we will focus on the changes in materials, whether physical or chemical, change that are useful to our environment. You will also encounter different examples and how the environment benefits from this change. This will be our expectations. Number one, identify the change in the given material. Number two, explain the good effects of some changes in materials to one's environment. And number three, cite examples of change in materials that is useful to one environment. In your module, you can now answer the pretest that you can see in your page two. So there are two directions in your pretest. Letter A is write PC on the line if the change in material is a physical change and CC if it is chemical change. And for the letter B, you're going to write the correct letter of your answer. This will be the same in your looking back. You're going to write the letter of the correct answer. Now, let's have a review. Last time, we don't have online class on our week 5 lesson. So, let's have a quick review. Our topic last week was solid-liquid mixture, liquid-liquid mixture, effects of temperature in dissolving materials. For question number 1, which of the following is an example of solid-liquid mixture? A. Alcohol and water B. Sugar and water C. Oil and water and D. Soy sauce and vinegar The correct answer is letter B. Sugar and water Sugar is the solid and the liquid is water The next one Which of the following is an example of liquid-liquid mixture? So, this is very easy. Letter A, detergent and water. B, sugar and water. C, coffee powder and water. And D, water and vinegar. The correct answer is letter D, water and vinegar. They are both liquid. And for the number three, what will happen to coffee powder, milk powder, and Milo if we mix it with hot water and cold water. Letter A. It will dissolve faster in cold water than hot water. Letter B. It will dissolve faster in hot water than cold water. And letter C. It will not dissolve and form two layers. And letter D. Nothing will happen. Okay. The correct answer will be letter B. It will dissolve faster in hot water than cold water because glass temperature affects the solubility of a material. Since that you learned a lot in our week 5 lesson, we will now talk about the week 6 lesson. But before that, before we go to our main topic, let us first differentiate the physical and chemical change. Physical change is a change in size, shape, texture, and state. There is no new material form. For example, melting of chocolates. There is a change in state from solid to liquid but... 
there is no new material form, it is still a chocolate. Next, carving of wood. As you can see, there is a change in size, shape, and texture. But, it is still a wood. There is no new material form. So that is physical change. The next one is chemical change. Chemical change is any changes that causes a new material to be formed. So meaning class, meron ng isang bagong material yun ang na nabubuo in chemical change. For example, burning of paper. Okay, pag sinunog natin yung papel, it will turn into ashes. So the new material formed in uh, burning of paper is the ashes. So, there is new material from paper, naging ashes siya. So, that is chemical change. Next is the rusting of iron. Okay, yung bakal, kapag siya inabasa, it will form rust. So, rusting of iron is an example of chemical change because there is new material form. Nagkaroon siya ng rust. So, the new material form is rust. So, did you see the difference of the two? Very good. Now, let us move on to the real topic of Module 6. That is the changes that are useful to our environment. Did you know, class, that there are changes, whether physical or chemical, that are useful to our environment? But not all. But today, we will going to focus on the changes that are useful to our environment and to human. The first one is cutting of cloth in making handkerchief. Let us identify what change it is. It is physical change. Is there new material formed? None. Because it is still a cloth. Is it useful? Yes, because we can use it in wiping our sweat. The next example is cutting or shaping of wood in making furniture. Uh, let us identify the change. It is physical change. Is there new material formed? None, because it is still a wood. We just shape it and cut it. Uh, is it useful? Yes, because we can use it as a furniture. Our third example is converting tin cans or old bottles into plant boxes. Let us identify what change it is. It is physical change. Is there new material formed? None, because it is still a can. We just decorated it to make it more beautiful. Is it useful? Yes, because from 18 cans, we can also use it as a plant boxes. Our fourth example is shaping old tires into animal figures. What change it is? Physical change. Is there new material formed? None, because, because it is still a tire. We just paint it to make it more beautiful. Is it useful? Yes, it can beautify our environment. Now, let's move on to the next. There are also changes in materials, whether physical or chemical, that are useful to human but not in our environment. So, meaning class, ito yung nakakatulong sa ating mga tao. Pero, pwede siyang makabigay ng danger sa ating environment. So, ito yung mga example nun. Number one, cutting of trees in making firewood. What change it is? It is physical change. Is there new material form? None. Is it useful? Yes, to human. Because, pwede natin siyang gamitin na panggatong sa, sa pagluluto. But, it is harmful to our environment. Bakit? 
kasi ang pagpuputol ng puno ay nagkakos ng flood. So, these are just useful to human, but not in our environment. The second example is, changes that are useful to human is burning of wood and making charcoal. What change it is? It is chemical change. Is there new material formed? Yes. We created a charcoal. Is it useful? Yes, to human. Kasi pwede natin siyang pang ihaw and it can also be a business to other people. But, class, remember, this one is not good to our environment. So, those are the examples of changes that are useful to human environment and to only human. That's all for today. I hope that you learned a lot for this day. This is your science teacher, Mom Jabel de los Santos. See you next week, class. Bye!